Hello, this is Dr. Gil Wilshire at Missouri Fertility. Today we're going to be talking about male factor, low sperm counts, and the potential role of vitamins and supplements in improving these numbers. First of all, you need good nutrition, so I urge you to see my video on basic nutritional recommendations. Second, you need to realize that studying sperm counts is inherently difficult to do. Uh, the numbers are all over the place. You need lots of guys to study this and you need lots of money. Most of these things are not patented medications, so the money just is not there to do the proper studies that we would like. Uh, since these studies are not coming down the pike, we need to use some basic science to uh, come up with some basic recommendations. So, realizing that the science is poor, uh, what do we know? Well, first of all, we know that semen has a lot of zinc in it. Uh, obviously, we need zinc uh, to replace this. Uh, zinc comes from meat, uh, sometimes beans, some other good, uh, what I call superfoods. If you're not getting enough of these, perhaps 50 milligrams of zinc in a pill form uh, isn't so bad. It's not toxic uh, in normal doses. It's not expensive. So that might be a place to go for uh, a supplementation. Another thing uh, you need to make sperm is the uh, trace mineral selenium. Selenium can be taken as a supplement. Perhaps one to 200 micrograms a day would be optimal. But realize you can also get this through foods. Brazil nuts are famous for their high uh, selenium content. So eating a handful of Brazil nuts from time to time might be just as good as a supplement. We need good oils and cholesterol to make sperm. These are found in very high numbers uh, uh, if you look at the concentration of these in, uh, in sperm cells. Um, best, play to get, uh, best way to get uh, omega-3 oils is obviously through fish. Uh, does it hurt to get one or two grams a day through a high quality nutritional supplement? Probably not a bad idea and I certainly advocate uh, that, uh, particularly if you're not uh, fond of eating fish. Now, is there a role for multivitamins in general? Uh, my feelings on these are, have changed over the years. I'm much more uh, uh, into taking superfoods, uh, nutrient-dense foodstuffs. But once again, if you're eating poorly, would a general multivitamin hurt things? Probably not. Uh, I certainly would have uh, no, find no fault in somebody taking multivitamins to fill any new nutritional holes you might have. Now, there are a number of fertility enhancing products out there on the market, various pills marketed to men to increase their sperm counts. If you look at the ingredients on these pills, they're generally not very strong. They generally don't contain nutrients uh, that we're not going to get through these other recommendations. And generally, they're very overpriced. Uh, so I'm not a big fan of male fertility uh, supplements or products. If you're following my other recommendations, you should not need them. Now, over time, I've become a strong advocate for what we call superfoods or nutrient-dense foodstuffs. Believe it or not, one of the best fertility foods out there is the stereotypical oyster. Oysters are full of zinc, selenium, cholesterol, good omega-3 fats, uh, nutrients galore. Now, I happen to love raw oysters. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea. Perhaps you like cooked oysters, but if you can get some oysters into your diet, that's a good place to start. Another thing you need to do, guys, if you're overweight, get rid of the belly fat. Easiest way to do that is cut out all the grains, cut out the potatoes, get rid of the beer, and really lower your alcohol intake. When we hold fat in our bellies, it increases our estrogen levels. Estrogen is good for the gals, but it's terrible for our sperm counts. So try to minimize the belly fat as best you can. Meat is full of minerals, the protein, carnitine, etc. Also very good for sperm. Once again, don't forget your colorful vegetables and whatnot. So, what can be done to improve sperm counts? Well, perhaps supplements do have a role. And if you're not eating well, if you follow the recommendations I just made, perhaps they'll be helpful for you. I hope this has been interesting for you. This is Dr. Wilshire, Missouri Fertility. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram.